Today we are going to discuss NEET 2021 paper. So this year paper was average, but it is lying there. So definitely it will take time to solve. Okay, so without wasting our time, we are going to start solve the paper. So let's see the question number first. Okay, the question number first is given over here is a body is executing simple harmonic motion with frequency n. The frequency of the potential energy is what? Here four options is given and we have to check which options is correct over here. So this question mein kya ho hai? This question mein simple harmonic motion is given. Correct. And frequency is given over here is n. So first of all we will see what is the meaning of SHM. Okay, so this is what mean position, this is the extreme position and this is the extreme position, correct? So in the simple harmonic motion, what will happen? The particle will move from mean position to extreme position. After then it will go, it will come back from extreme to mean position and from mean to again it will go extreme position and come back to the mean position, correct? So this is known as, this is known as the SHM. Okay, and the frequency of this SHM is given over here is N in this question and he is asking what is the frequency of potential energy so if you will see in this diagram so the potential energy is okay two times it is getting maximum once it is happening here and once it is happening over here okay so potential energy is maximum over here and here also so the so the frequency of the potential energy will be what 2n because it is getting two times maximum okay if suppose he will ask what is the frequency of the kinetic energy? So same answer will come for the kinetic energy also because here the kinetic energy is maximum and same thing for here also. So kinetic energy is also getting two times maximum. Okay. So the answer for the kinetic energy and for the potential energy, the answer will be same. And if we will check the options here, then we are getting options number three. So the option number three is correct for this question. Let's see the next question. The next question here is given. Polar molecule are the molecules. Here four options is given. First option is, is what? Having a permanent electric dipole moment. Second, having zero dipole moment. Third, acquire a dipole moment only in the presence of electric field due to displacement of charges. Four, acquire a dipole moment only when magnetic field is absent. Okay, so here having a permanent electric dipole moment. So he is asking about the polar molecules. So we know that in the polar molecule what will be happen here is one oxygen and here is two hydrogen. Okay, on the hydrogen positive charge is present and on the oxygen negative charge is present. And this is a permanent charge. So that's why it is behave as an electric dipole. Okay, so the correct answer for this question will be what having a permanent electric dipole moment okay so if any molecule is the okay polar molecule then they have permanent electric dipole so that's why the answer option number one is correct for this question okay let's see the next question question number three is given over here is in column one give certain physical term associated with flow of current through a metallic conductor column two Give some mathematical relation involving electrical quantities match column 1 and column 2 with appropriate relation. So see this is the column 1 and this is the column 2. Here this is the column 1 and this is the column 2. So here we have we want to do matching. Okay here he is asking which is the correct matching. So here four options is given we have to check which one is correct over here. So see this is the drift velocity. Okay, so drift velocity can be written as a small e capital E into m into tau. Correct. This is what this is the acceleration. This quantity is what this is the acceleration and this is the time. Time relaxation time. Okay. So a into tau is what? Drift velocity. So for the a, this is the correct matching. For the a, R will come. Okay, next is what electrical resistivity. So electrical resistivity can be written as okay if you will electrical if you will check the options here so here electrical resistivity can be written as like that e by j from the uh, newton law sorry not a newton laws with the help of 
we can see this thing with the help of ohm's law okay with the help of ohm's law we can say this thing ohm's law is what in a microscopic level okay if i will talk about the microscopic level so ohm's law can be written as equal to rho j correct so equal to rho j can be written as so rho is what here rho is the electrical resistivity so e by j equal to what rho here e by j equal to rho here so this is the electrical resistivity so for the option number b options s is correct and for the option number c c is what relaxation period for the c number options p will be correct this is relaxation period and current density can be written as n e v d correct because we know that current is what i equal to n e a v d so i by a equal to what n e v d so this is what this is the this is what this is the current density i by a is what j current density so current density can be written as n e v d okay so so if we will check the options here then we are getting options number 2 let's see the next question two charged spherical conductor of radius r1 and r2 are connected by a wire then the ratio of surface charge density of the sphere sigma 1 and sigma 2 is what okay so this question mein kya ho raha hai two charged spherical conductor of radius r1 and r2 is given and they are connected by the wire okay so this is two spherical conductor correct the radius of this is r1 and the radius of this second will be r2 correct they are connected by the wire so the potential will be same v1 equal to v2 correct so v1 equal to v2 we can write down and v1 v1 will be what k q okay 1 by r1 and k q2 by r2 and q is what q1 is what you know that sigma equal to what charge per unit area means q1 by area of this sphere is what 4 pi r1 square similarly we can write in sigma 2 also so q1 value can be written as here k q q1 can be written as sigma 1 4 pi r1 square by r1 equal to k q2 is what sigma 2 4 pi r2 square by r2 okay after then just cancel out and find out the sigma 1 and sigma 2 so sigma 1 by sigma 2 will come r2 1 r and this will be get cancel out 4 pi 4 pi will get cancel out kk will so sigma 1 by sigma 2 will come r2 by r1 yes r2 by r1 will come means option number 3 is correct for this question let's see the next question a parallel plate capacitor has a uniform electric field e in the space between the plates if the distance between the plate is d and the area of each plate is a then the energy stored in the okay so he is asking what is the energy stored in the plate so very simple co question we know that energy density u equal to what half epsilon not e square and u can be written as u by a energy per unit volume okay half epsilon not e square correct so energy can be written as half epsilon not e square into volume volume is what a into area into distance between the plate so half epsilon not e square a is what here a is the uh, area of the each plate and d is the distance so energy stored in the plate is what half epsilon not e square ad and if you will check the options here we are getting option number 4 so the option number 4 is correct for this question let's see the next question a infinitely long state conductor carries a current of 5 ampere as shown an electron is moving with a speed of 10 to 5 meter per second parallel to the conductor the perpendicular distance between the electron and the conductor is 20 cm at an instant calculate the magnitude of force experienced by the electron at the instant is okay here the velocity is given v equal to what 10 to 5 meter per second and this distance is what 20 cm and current is what 5 ampere so force is asking so we know that force acting on the charge can be written as q v b correct so here q electron is moving so charge on the electron is what 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 velocity is what 10 raised to 5 and magnetic field present due to this current carrying wire is what mu not i i is what 
डिवाइडेड बाय टू पाई आर आर मीन्स डिस्टेंस सो डिस्टेंस इज वॉट ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर करेक्ट ट्वेंटी इंटू टेन एस टू माइनस टू जस्ट सॉल्व दिस थिंग एंड फाइंड आउट द फोर्स सो आफ्टर द सॉल्विंग यर फोर ऑप्शन इज गिवेन एंड आफ्टर द सॉल्विंग वी विल गेट एट इंटू टेन एस टू माइनस ट्वेंटी ओके वी विल गेट एट इंटू टेन एस टू माइनस ट्वेंटी सो द ऑप्शन नंबर वन इज करेक्ट फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ओके जस्ट सॉल्व एंड यू विल गेट एट इंटू टेन एस टू माइनस ट्वेंटी न्यूटन सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ ई एंड जी respectively denote energy and gravitational constant then e by g has the dimension of e by g has the dimension of e by g has the dimension of okay so e is what here e is the energy and g is the gravitational constant okay energy dimensional formula already we know that m1 l2 t minus 2 okay otherwise you can find out from here also work equal to what fd force into displacement okay The unit of is what? This is energy, na? What is what? Energy force into displacement. From here you will find out the MLT formula. Force can be written as what? Kg meter per second square. Correct. Kg meter per second square. After then displacement is what? Meter. The solve this thing. Then you will get what? Work. This thing already will we will get with the help of this Kg meter per second square into meter. Correct. And MLT formula we will get m1 l2 t minus 2. And after then here is what g gravitational constant. So for that we have to use this formula f equal to g m1 m2 by r square. So here g equal to what f r square by m1 m2. Correct. With the help of this formula we will get a gravitational constant also. Okay. So finally when we will take a ratio then we will get an answer. And if we will check the options here, then we will get option number two. Option number two is correct for this question. Okay, force we can write on kg meter per second square. Kg meter per second square. This is meter square. R square is what meter m1 kg kg square. So unit we will get that convert into MLT formula and get your answer. Very simple question. Okay, a lens of large focal length and large aperture is best suited as an object of An astronomical telescope, since okay. So this is a theoretical question. So option number A is what here? A large aperture contributes to the quality and visibility of the image. So this option is correct. The large area of object ensures better light, getting the power. Yes, this is also correct. A large aperture provides the better resolution. Yes, this is also correct. So answer is what? Fourth number option. Okay, all of the above. So all the options are correct for this question. Let's see the next question. Match the column one and column two and choose the correct match from the given choices. Okay, so here this is the column one and this is the column two. And here root mean square speed we can match with this Q because root mean square velocity is what under root three R T by m. Pressure exerted by the gas can be written as one by three. n by m v bar square okay average kinetic energy can be written as like this 3 by 2 kbt and total internal energy can be written as 5 by 2 rt for the diatomic gas so this is the correct sequence for that correct matching okay and if we will check the options here then we will get option number 4 so the option number 4 is correct for this question correct option number 4 is correct Question number ten is given over here. Is consider the following statement A and B and identify the correct answer. A jet diode is connected in the reverse bias when used as a voltage regulator. Regulator. Option B is given. The voltage, the potential barrier of P-N junction lies between 0.1 volt to 0.3 volt. Okay. So here the options is given. A is incorrect. B is okay. And A and B both are the correct. Third number option is A and B both are incor incorrect. And option four is A is correct and B is incorrect here. So here, if we will see the state statement number A. So a jet diode is connected in the reverse bias when used as a voltage regulator. Yes, this thing is correct. If we will connect a jet diode in the reverse bias, then it will work as a voltage regulator. This statement is correct. Second. 
स्टेटमेंट इज वॉट द पोटेंशियल वेरियर ऑफ पी एन जंक्शन लाइज बिटवीन जीरो पॉइंट वन वोल्ट टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट सो दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इट कैन बी वेरी इट कैन बी मोर देन जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट एल्सो फॉर सम सेमी कंडक्टर ओके सो दिस इज नॉट ऑलवेज ट्रू ओके इफ यू विल टेक अनदर अनदर टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल सो इट कैन बी वेरी एल्सो सो दैट्स वाई दिस 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 बी इज नॉट करेक्ट हेयर so a is correct b is incorrect so which options will be correct over here option number 4 a is correct and b is incorrect let's see the next question a dipole is placed in a electric field as shown in which direction will it move okay so here we are putting one electric dipole in this electric field this is the electric field direction this is the electric field direction and this is the dipole here so this dipole is placed inside this electric field so he is asking which options is correct over here option 1 is what toward the right as its potential energy will increase second toward the left as its potential energy will increase option 3 toward the right as its potential energy will decrease and option 4 toward the left as its potential energy will decrease okay so if we will put okay if we will put electric dipole in this electric field so what will happen on this positive charge the force will act on this direction on negative charge the force will act okay in this direction correct so finally this di electric dipole will move in the direction so you can see here when it will move from here to here then what is happening it is moving in the direction of electric field okay so if it is moving in the direction of electric field then the electric potential will decrease okay electric potential will decrease and energy will also decrease because here what is happening is the system is doing work as the system is doing work the system is doing work so what will be happen the energy of the system will uh, energy potential energy will be decrease because system is doing work okay and if you will check the options here then we are getting option number 3 toward the right this this thing is correct it will move finally toward the right as its potential energy will decrease so the option number 3 is correct so let's see the next question question number 12 a convex lens a of focal length 20 cm and a concave lens b of focal length 5 cm are kept along the same axis with a distance d between them if a parallel beam of light falling on a leaves b the parallel beam the distance d in the centimeter so in this question what is happening here one one convex lens is given and one concave lens is given so this is a convex lens a and this is the concave lens correct this is the concave lens so one is convex lens a and one is the concave lens b focal length of the convex lens is given 20 cm and concave lens b of the focal length 5 cm okay kept along the same axis with the distance d and the distance between two lenses is what d here and what is happening here is the parallel beam of light falling on the a so this parallel light is falling on this a leaves b as a parallel beam okay leaves b as a parallel beam so it is falling falling parallelly and when it is leaving from b then again it is parallel this thing is happening here correct so in between this what will be happen the convex lens a the focal length 20 cm so image will if the parallel okay if the light is coming parallelly so image will form on the focus okay and the focus will lies over here for this so this distance will be what from here to here it will be 20 cm correct so image will formed over here but here this concave lens is present so what will be happen and it is coming it is going parallelly so here after here what will be happen the divergence will be happen and it will go parallelly like this correct this thing will happen over here this thing will happen over here parallelly so here we have to use our logic 
okay this distance is 20 centimeter if it is going parallelly so this distance should be what this distance should be okay this is total 20 centimeter so this distance should be what 5 centimeter okay so if it is the if this will be the 5 centimeter and this is a total 20 centimeter so this distance will be what this distance will be 15 centimeter okay this thing will be happen because light is going parallelly so this distance should be what this distance should be 5 centimeter this distance should be 5 centimeter because total distance is what 20 centimeter is given na? so this distance will be what this distance should be 5 centimeter if this is 5 centimeter so this will be 20 centimeter this will be the 15 centimeter so answer okay if we will check the options here then we are getting option number 3 so the option number 3 is correct for this question let's see the next question the escape velocity from the earth surface is b the escape velocity from the surface of another planet having the radius four times that of the earth and same mass density is so here four options is given and we have to choose the correct option okay so in this question what is happening the escape velocity from the earth surface is v the escape velocity from the surface of the another planet having the radius four times that of the earth and same mass density so this is a planet okay and we know that escape velocity is what under root 2g m e by r e correct 2g m e by r e this is the escape velocity formula so here the escape velocity of the earth is given v and he is asking the escape velocity from the another planet having the radius four times that the earth same density okay density is same so density is same so first of all what we will do we will convert this formula in the form of density because density is same so we can compare so v e equal to 2 g mass can be written as density into volume 4 by 3 pi r e q by r e so r e this square will come here so we can say that velocity sk velocity is directly proportional to radius of the planet okay so if the velocity is directly proportional to the radius of the planet okay so if if the radius will happen four times if the radius will happen four times then what will happen the sk velocity will also happen four times so answer will be what 4b so the option number one is correct for this question 4b another planet having the radius four times okay that the earth has a same mass density so answer will be what 4b not a v here the correct options is what options number b because the radius is have we are getting four times so the velocity will also happen four times so here we can see the relation so options one is correct for this question let's see the question number 14 question number 14 is given over here is a radioactive nucleus z z is what here z is the atomic number okay Z is what atomic number and A is what atomic mass. X undergoes spontaneous decay in the sequence. Okay, the sequence is given over here. Okay, where Z is the atomic number of the element X, the possible decayed particle in the sequence R. Here four options is given. We have to check which options is correct over here. Correct. So here what is happening? Here if you will see this X element, so it is converting into B. Okay, so here the number of proton is what z here z minus 1 so here number of proton is decreasing okay so number of proton is decreasing one proton is decreasing here correct so means here plus beta decay is happening in the plus beta decay what will happen the proton will convert into neutron plus positron and positron plus this thing will come okay so this thing will be happen proton will convert into neutron and this is a positron and this is the neutron so this thing will be happen here so here what is happening plus beta decay is happening because one proton is decreasing one proton is decreasing here okay and after then here what is happening here z minus 1 
After the decay, what will be happening here? Here the Z minus 3 is coming. Means two proton is decreasing. So two proton will decrease in the alpha decay because in the alpha particle, two proton and two neutron is present. So when the alpha decay will happen, then two proton will decrease. So here what will happen? Z minus 3. Z minus 3 will happen. So that's why the correct answer will be what option number 4 beta plus alpha beta minus this sequence will come correct let's see the question number 15 a screw gauge gives the following reading when used to measure the diameter of wire man scale reading 0 mm circular scale reading 52 division given that 1 mm on the man scale corresponding to 100 division on the circular scale the diameter of the wire from the above data is okay so first of all we will find out here the least count so the least count will be what 1 by 100 correct this is 1 mm and here is 100 division so least count will be what 0 0.01 mm correct so right now we are having least count and what how many division we are getting on the okay 0 0.1 mm or circular reading and 52 division given that okay 1 mm on the man scale to the 100 division so here we are getting 52 so reading will be what reading will be 52 into 0 0.01 very simple question okay very simple question so here we will get in answer in the mm okay 52 into 0 0.01 so we will get 0. Point, okay 0. 0.52 mm reading but if we will check the options here then options is given in the centimeter you can see the options is given in the centimeter okay so we have to convert this mm in the centimeter so what we have to do we have to divide with the 10 so reading we will get 0 0.52 by 10 centimeter okay means 0 0.052 means options number one is correct for this question let's see the next question an inductor of inductance l has a capacitor of capacitance c and a resistor of resistance r are connected in a series to an AC source of potential difference V, what as shown in figure. The potential difference across L and C, L, C and R is 40 volt, 10 volt and 40 volt respectively. The amplitude of the current falling through LCR series circuit is 10, 10, here is one mistake, this is 10 root 2, okay, 10 root 2 ampere, the impedance of the circuit, very simple question, okay. If I will make the phasor diagram, so this is 40, okay, 40 volt, and this is what? This is uh, inductance is given over here is 40, okay, inductance is also given, resistance is 40, okay, first is what? Inductance, so inductance is 40, resistance is also 40, so inductance is 40 and capacitance is 10 volt, so resultant will come 30 volt, okay, 40 minus 30, so 30 volt will come okay and after the means resultant of this 40 and 30 is what 30 will come and after that resultant of 30 and 40 will what be it will come brms and brms it will come under root 30 square plus 40 square correct so it will come brms value we are getting here 50 volt okay and amplitude is given i i naught is given over here is 10 root 2 ampere so irms value is what IRMS can be written as IRMS can be written as I naught by root 2 and I naught is what 10 root 2 by root 2 so root 2 root 2 means 10 okay so we know that mod z can be written as okay VRMS by IRMS simple VRMS by IRMS is what mod z impedance VRMS is what VRMS is we have 50 and IRMS we have 10 so it will come 5 ohm very simple question okay and if we will check the options here we are getting options number 1 so the option number 1 is correct for this question let us see the next question a particle is released from the height as from the surface of the earth at a certain height its kinetic energy is 3 times its potential energy the height from the surface of the earth and the speed of the particle at that instant are respectively so in this question what is happening let us see here here is one earth particle we are throwing okay 
पार्टिकल वी आर रिलीजिंग फ्रॉम हेयर पार्टिकल वी आर रिलीजिंग नॉट अर थ्रोइंग तो पार्टिकल वी आर रिलीजिंग फ्रॉम हेयर एंड दिस डिस्टेंस इज वॉट एस डिस्टेंस दिस डिस्टेंस इज एस हेयर एंड वॉट इज सेंग डिस्टेंस इज एस एट एट अ सर्टन पॉइंट वॉट इज हैपनिंग द काइनेटिक एनर्जी थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी सो लेट सपोज इट इट विल रीच ओवर हेयर ओके इट विल रीच ओवर हेयर so at that point what will be happened the kinetic energy is three times of potential energy this thing here is given and here potential energy is what mg s and we know that energy is conserved so energy on that point and this point will be equal so we can add on this equation mg s equal to and let's suppose this distance is x so mg x plus kinetic energy and kinetic energy is already given three uh, three times of potential energy and potential energy is what mgx so mgx plus 3 mgx okay equal to mgs so here mg mg and mg will get cancel out so here what we will get 4x we will get here 4x okay Equal to s, so x equal to we will get s by four. Means this distance is what s by four distance. So this point is present at a s by four height from the surface. Okay, now and second thing, what is asking the speed? The speed is asking. So very simple thing. Equation already we having mgs mgx plus kinetic energy. So mgs plus m equal to mgx plus half m v square correct we want to find out over here so mgs equal to x is what s by 4 mgs by 4 plus half m v square okay so after the solving of this we will get v okay so this will come what 4 this is uh, this will go on this side so this is 3 mgs, okay. 3 mgs by 4 equal to half m v square. So v equal to we will get here. We will we we will get here under root, okay. 3 gs by 2. This thing we will get. So height from the surface is s by 4, and speed is what under root 3g by s. So here. options number 1 is correct okay options number 1 is correct for this question let's see the next question question number 18 a small block slide down on a smooth inclined plane starting from rest at time t equal to 0 let sn be the distance traveled by the block in the interval t equal to n minus 1 to t equal to n then the ratio of sn by sn plus 1 okay so we know that distance traveled by the particle in the nth second formula is what s nth equal to u plus half 2 n minus 1 this formula we have to use so in the nth second the distance traveled will be what u equal to 0 so half 2 n minus 1 similarly in the n plus 1 because he is asking ratio of s n and s n plus 1 na so half 2 And n is what here? N plus one minus one, so it will come half two n plus one. Okay, so ratio will come here S n by two n two n minus one by two n plus one. So ratio will come. Okay, after the solving of finally we will get our options two n minus one by two n plus means option three is correct for this question. Let's see the next question. Okay. The half life of the radioactive nuclei is 100 hours. The fraction of original activity that will remain after 150 hour would be. So here, half life of radioactive nuclei is 100 hours. The fraction of original activity that will remain after 150. So this question easily we can solve with the help of this formula. Fraction can be written as a by a not equal to 1 by 2 tau. The tau is what? Tau equal to here 150 by 100, correct? So it will come 1.5. A by A not ratio. He is asking 1 by 2. Tau value is what 
So it will what it will come? It will come to root two. So ratio that fraction we are getting here a by a not equal to one by two root two. So this option number three is correct for this question. Okay, the equivalent capacitance of the combination shown in the figure. So here three capacitor is given in the combination one, two, and three. Okay, so you can see here here the capacitor is not connected. Here the capacitor is not connected. So let's suppose here the potential is zero. So here will be zero 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 means the potential will not change now because here uh, not any devices is connected. Okay, devices is not connected. Simply here the wire is connected. Okay, so the potential will not drop. So this is the here the potential difference is same. So that's why this is useless. Okay, so means we can say that only here two capacitors are connected in the parallelly. So the equivalent capacitance will be what to see. So the option number three is correct for this question. Very easy question. Let's see the next question. The effective resistance of the parallel connection that consists of four wires. Of equal length, equal area of cross section, and same material is 0.25 ohm. What will be the effective resistance if they are connected in the series? Okay, so here what is happening? The effective resistance of the parallel connection that consists of the four wire equal to length, area, cross section, and same material is 0.5. So if we will connect four wire in the parallelly, then equivalent resistance. What we got it here? Equivalent resistance for this four wire is we got it here 0.25. So let's suppose the resistance each wire is R R R. Okay, so the equivalent resistance is R by four, and the value is given 0.25. So the resistance of the uh, one wire is what? 0.25 into four means one ohm. So resistance of the one wire is what? One ohm. And if again he is saying if we will connect this wire in the series. Okay, connected in the series. Then what is the effective resistance? So if we will connect it in the series, this four wires. So net resistance will be what? R1 plus R2 plus R3 like that. So it will be what? Equivalent resistance in the series will be what? Four ohm. So answer will be what? Four ohm. And if we will check the options here, then we are getting option number one. So the option number one is correct for this question. Let's see the next question. A nucleus with a mass number two forty. Breaks into two fragments, each of mass number 120. The binding energy per nucleon of unfragmented nuclei is 7.6 mega electrovolt, while that of fragment is 8.5 mega electrovolt. The total gain in the binding energy in the process is okay. So he is asking what is if it is break, okay. If it is break, then what is the total gain in binding energy in the process? So this thing we can find out. See, before break the nucleic mass number is what 240. After the breaking, it is 120. 120 is happening. Okay, it is this fragment is breaking in two parts. 120, 120. Correct. 120 and 120, and this is 2 240. And the energy, okay, binding energy per nucleon for this is given 7.6. Okay, and after the breaking. Each fragment is given 8.5 mega electrovolt. Correct. So binding energy can be written as 240. Okay, 240 and uh, 240 into 7.6. Correct. And after then, see, in the starting, what is happening? First, we will calculate here and here. After then, we will find out the difference. Okay, before. Before breaking and after, after before breaking and after the breaking, okay, how much energy difference is coming? Okay, that difference is equal to what the binding energy. Okay, and after the breaking, what will be happening? It is going, it is going to stable. Okay, it is going to stable. So before before breaking, binding energy per nuclear unfrag unfragmented nuclei is seven point six. That the fragmented is 8.5 mega electrovolt. The total gain in kinetic energy. So this is 2.0. So this is 240 into per nucleon is given 7.6. So 240 into 7.6, and here 120 into 8.5. So 
and 120 into 8.5 this thing will be happen okay so here 128.5 128.5 so we can write down 248.5 so difference will be what difference can be written as 240 8.5 minus 7.6 correct and if we will solve this thing then after the solving of this we will get 216 mega electrovolt so here need to find out okay here we need to find out this difference how much difference is coming that is equals to the binding energy total gain in binding energy okay so the option number 1 is correct for this question let's see the next question the electron concentration in an n type semiconductor is the same as hall concentration in the p type semiconductor an external field is applied across the each of them compare the current in them option 1 is what no current will flow in p type current will only flow in n type option second is what current in n type equal to the current in p type okay so here four options is given we have to choose the correct option okay so we know that okay the mobility of the okay mobility of the electron is greater mobility of the electron is greater as compared to okay holes okay mobility of the free electron is greater as compared to that holes so what will be happen the current in n type will be greater because the mobility of the electron is greater as compared to the hole okay because we are putting in the electric field na so electric field what will be open the force will act on the charged particle so in the n type what will be happen the number of number of free electron is more okay and in the p type number of holes is more so the mass of the uh, that electron is less so it can move easily in the electric field electric field okay so that's why the current will be greater so current in the n type will be greater as compared to current in p type so the mobility of the electron is greater as compared to p type so the option number 4 is correct for this question let's see the next question question number 24 the number of photons per second on an average emitted by the source of the monochromatic light of wavelength 600 nanometer when it delivers the power of 3.3 into 10 to the minus 3 what will be at the equal to 6.6 into 10 to the minus 34 10 to the minus 34 joule second is given over here okay so wavelength is given and power is given so we can write down like that p equal to n hc by lambda hc by lambda is what energy of the one photon and total power is what here the total power is given 3.3 into 10 to minus 3 watt so n can be written as p by hc by lambda correct or not so this is 3.3 into 10 to minus 3 watt and hc by lambda h is what 6.6 into 10 to minus 34 c is what 3 into 10 to 8 and lambda value is what lambda is given 600 nanometer so 600 into 10 to minus 9 after the solving of that we will get n equals to 10 to 16 this thing we will get so the option number 4 is correct for this question very easy question okay let's see the next question a thick current carrying cable of radius r carries the current i uniformly distributed across its cross section the variation of the magnetic field due to the cable with the distance r from the axis of the cable is represented by okay so radius of the current carrying cable is what r and current is what i here and he is asking what is the magnetic field versus distance diagram here four options is given okay which graph is correct we we want to find out over here he is asking in this question okay so this is the wire correct and the radius of this wire is given capital r okay so let's suppose if that point is present inside the wire okay this point is present inside the wire so this distance is r okay and here the current flowing from this wire is what i already is given so current density will same and we want to find the magnetic field what is the magnetic field inside this wire okay so here what is the case r is okay r is less than to capital r this is the case because the point is present inside the wire okay so we can find out with the help of 
ओके सर्किटल लो बी डॉट डी एल न्यू नॉट आई नेट मीन्स हाउ मच करेंट इज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम दिस क्लोज क्लोज लूप ओके इन दिस लॉ वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू एज्यूम वन क्लोज लूप सो हेयर दिस इज अ क्लोज लूप सो करेंट हेयर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मच करेंट इज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम दैट ओके सो करेंट फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम दैट हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट करेंट डेंसिटी इज सेम हेयर करेक्ट करेंट डेंसिटी इज सेम ना बिकॉज दिस इज डेंसिटी सो इफ यू विल टेक दिस रीजन ऑल्सो करेंट डेंसिटी विल बी सेम ओके सो हेयर करेंट डेंसिटी इज सेम सो वी कैन राइट डाउन जे इक्वल टू आई बाय ए मीन्स पाई आर स्क्वायर पाई आर स्क्वायर इज वॉट एरिया ऑफ दैट वायर ओके क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया ऑफ द वायर सो एंड इट विल बी इक्वल टू वॉट आई डेस बाय पाई आर स्क्वायर ओके करेंट डेंसिटी इज सेम ना सो करेंट डेंसिटी फ्रॉम दैट क्लोज लूप इज इक्वल टू दैट होल वायर ओके सो वी कैन राइट डाउन लाइक दैट सो आई डेट आई डेस कैन बी रिटर्न एज आर स्क्वायर बाय आर स्क्वायर इन टू आई so this is what this the i dash means current passing from that closed loop okay just put this value over here and find out the magnetic field inside that so magnetic field will be what magnetic field will be mu not i net value already we got it r square i by r square and this is what dl integration of dl is what 2 pi r okay right now we are not we just we are checking what will be the answer okay we are not going in the detail so rr will get cancel out here so magnetic field is what magnetic field is directly proportional to r we can say so the linear relation will come so inside the wire what will be happen the magnetic field is directly proportional to the okay directly proportional to the radius so the linear relation will be come and if suppose the point is present outside the wire so what what we can write down again we have to use this circuital law so here r is greater than to r so this type of closed loop will come correct here the magnetic field will be what mu not i current flowing from this closed loop is equal to what i current okay by 2 pi r so you can see here here the magnetic field is inversely proportional to r so this is the rectangular hyperbolic relation 1 by r and this is the directly proportional relation so this option is correct okay this graph will come let's see the next question the velocity of the small ball of mass m and density d when dropped in a container filled with a glycerin become constant after some time if the density of the glycerin is d by 2 then the viscous force acting on the ball will be okay in this question what is happening one ball or this ball this ball is moving with a constant velocity okay it is moving with a constant velocity inside the fluid okay so if it is moving in the constant velocity so the net force is what zero here net force acting on the that ball is what zero and force acting on the our our side is what bouncy force and one force one bouncy force will act on upward direction and this is the viscous force and this is the bouncy force and in downward direction weight of the ball mg force will act so if the net force is zero so upward force is equal to the downward force f v plus f b equal to mg we can write down like that okay in this question the velocity of the small ball of mass m and density d okay so volume of the ball can be written as okay we know that density equal to what mass by volume mass by volume so volume equal to can be what mass by density so volume can be written as mass by density okay so this is the volume of the ball correct mass by density so here bouncy force will be what bouncy force will be rho v g so viscous force will be what viscous force will be mg minus fb mg minus fb this is what this is the viscous force so bouncy force is what density of the fluid volume of the body into g so mg and density is what d by 2 density is density of the fluid is what d by 2 volume is what m by d and g so d to d is get cancel out 
So this is mg by 2 and mg. So bouncing force will be what? Not a bouncing force. The viscous force is what? The viscous force is mg by 2. This answer will come. And if we will check the options here, then we will get an option number 2. So in this question, what he is asking? He is asking only viscous force acting on the ball. Okay, viscous force acting on the ball. Find the value of angle of emergence from the prism. Refractive index of the glass is okay. Glass is given root three, and what he is asking? Find the value of angle of emergence from the prism. Okay, angle of emergence he is asking. So this is the ray, and this angle is 90 degree. Ray is coming like that. Okay, and here what is happening? The the incident angle is what? This is the normal. Okay, so the incident angle is what? Incident angle is zero. So the refracted angle here also will be zero. So it will go like that. After then here this is the normal. Okay, so it will come out like that. This thing will be happen. Okay, and he is asking what is this angle, emergence angle here. Okay, so this is the here. This is the 90 degree. And this is the 30, 60 degree, so this angle will be what 30 degree, and this is 30, this is 90, so this will be what 60 degree. Correct, this angle will be 60 degree. So, here what we can do here, we can write down this is sine 0, okay, and sine r will be also 0 here, and this is 60 degree, this is e. So, here if I will apply the Snell's law, so what we can write down sine e, okay, sine e. And refractive index of the outer medium is what one? Sine E equal to refractive index of the glass is 3 and sine R. R value is what? 60 degree. So here sine 60 value is what? Root. Okay. This is what? 1 into sine E. Correct. And this is sine 60. Okay. And this is root 3. This thing we will get. So here what we want to find out over here is we want to find out over here is this is 60 30 and this is 30 so this will be 60 okay okay one mistake is happened here this angle is 60 so this angle will be what this angle will be 30 degree this angle we have to take okay so here the sign 30 will come the sign 30 will come so this is the sign 30 sign 30 value is what 1 by 2 so sign e will be what root 3 by 2 will come so e equal to what e equal to will come 60 degree correct question is clear see the ray is going like that so incident angle is what this is a normal here so incident angle is what zero so here this angle will be also zero here incident is zero reflected will be also zero here after that it will go like that so here the incident angle is what incident angle is 30 degree here we did one one mistake here we took the 60 degree so here the 30 degree will come so here is, this is the 30 degree and emergence angle is we want to find out here. So this is sine 30 and sine E we want to find out. So root 3 into 2 equal to what? E equal to 60 degree. Just use the Snell's law and get your answer. So the options number 2 is correct for this question. Let's see the question number 28. A capacitor of capacitor C is connected across an AC source of voltage V. Given by V equal to V naught sin omega T, the displacement current between the plates of the capacitor would be given by. Okay, so in this question, AC source voltage is given and displacement current he is asking. So this is the capacitor plate, correct? And here this is the AC source like this, and the voltage is what V naught sin omega T, and the capacitance is C here. So this can be written as from the Kirchhoff law V minus Q by C equal to 0. Correct, V, equal v minus Q by C equal to 0. So from here Q can be written as VC and V equal to what? V equal to V naught sin omega TC equal to Q. This thing we can write down. Correct. After then if I will differentiate this equation. So this is DQ by DT equal to V naught T is constant and sin omega t differentiation is what cos omega t into omega. So dq by dt is what i is displacement current. So this is v naught c omega cos omega t. This thing we will this thing we will get here. And if we will check the options here, then we are getting option number second. Okay, let's see the next question. 
if force F, acceleration A and time T are chosen as a fundamental physical quantities, find the dimension of the energy. Okay. So here four options is given and we have to choose correct options. So see this is force, this is acceleration and this is time. Correct. And if I will write down this thing in the form of energy, so what we can write down? We know that energy basic formula is what? Energy can be written as force into displacement, means work can be written as force into displacement and work is what? Energy. Correct. So this is the force here, this is the force here and displacement can be written as acceleration into time square. So this is a displacement. So this is the wrong option, this is the wrong option and this is also wrong option. Only option number 3 is correct. So this is shortcut method. We can go by the basic method also but it will take time. So there we have to do the comparison, all things we have to do. Correct. Let's see the question number 30. In a potentiometer circuit, a cell of EMF 1.5 volt gives balance point at 36 centimeter length of wire. If another cell of EMF 2.5 volt replaces the first cell, then at what length of wire the balance point occurs? Here four options is given and we have to check which options is correct over here. So this question is based on the potentiometer, correct? And we know that in the potentiometer, the potential drop is directly proportional to the length. Correct. So we can write down E1 by E2 equal to L1 by L2. Correct. We can write down like that. So here he is asking L2 value. Okay. Because first balance length we are getting at 36, 36 centimeter and L2 he is asking. So, L2 can be written as L1 into E2 by E1. Correct? So, L2 will be L1 is what here? L1 is 36. After then, E2 is 2.5. E2 is 2.5 means 5 by 2. And this is E1 is 1.5 means 3 by 2. So, 2, 2 will get cancelled and this is 13. This will be 12 and this is 5. So, L2 will come 60 centimeter. Correct? L2 will be 60 centimeter. And if we will check the options, we are getting options number 2. So, the option number 2 is correct for this question. A spring is stressed by 5 cm by a force 10 Newton. The time period of the oscillation when the mass of 2 kg is suspended by it is. Okay. So, in this question, what is happening? One is spring. Okay. One is spring is given and if, if I will apply the force 10 Newton, then it will stress 5 cm. So, we know that F equal to what? Kx. So, here the spring constant will be what? F by x. So, K can be written as force. Force is what? 10 by X. X is what here? X is 5 centimeter. So, 5, 10 raised to minus 2. So, if I will solve this, so we will get a K value. So, this, this will go in upside. So, this is 10, 100 divided by 520. So, this will come 200. So, K value is what? 200 here. After then, what is asking time period? So, time period we, we know that 2 pi equal to M by K. Correct. So, here 2 pi m is what here? m is 2 and k value is what? 200. Just solve this thing and get your time period. So just put the value and solve this thing. So, this 2 and this 1 by 100. Okay. So, this will come 1 by 10. So, 2 pi by 10. So, pi value is what? 3.14 into 2 by 10. So, we will get option number 1. Correct. Let us see the next question. For a planned electromagnetic wave propagating in x direction which one of the following combination give the correct possible direction of the electric field and magnetic field okay we will solve this question with the direct method okay we know that electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to the each other correct or not so dot product of this e dot b is what zero correct it should be the perpendicular now we know that electric field and magnetic field perpendicular to the each other so here they both are the per perpendicular to the each other. So, if we will see the option number 1, 
so they are parallel okay minus j plus k cap minus j so they are parallel now so this is not possible j plus k j plus k this is also not possible okay option number four if we will see g plus k minus j minus j this is also not possible only option number three is correct for this question and if we will do the dot product also now between these two then we will get a zero the meaning is that it is perpendicular so the option number three is correct for this question let's see the next question a cup coffee cools from 90 degree to 80 degree celsius in t minute when the room temperature is 20 degree celsius the time taken by a similar cup of coffee to cool from 80 degree celsius to 60 degree celsius at a room temperature same at 20 degree celsius okay so here see very simple question this question we can solve with the help of newton's law of cooling newton's law of cooling newton's law of cooling formula is what dt by t equal to k t initial plus t final by 2 minus t naught t naught is what surrounding temperature initial temperature of the body is 90 final is what 80 okay so from here we will get a k value just put the value here okay 90 minus 80 by t and k is what here k we want to find out here so t i plus t f 90 plus 80 so this is 170 by 2 minus t naught t naught is what 20 here so our first solve this thing and find out the k value so this is 10 by t 10 by t equal to k and this is 160 uh, 75 means here we have to divide 70 170 by 2 okay so just divide this thing so what we will get here we will get 85 85 minus 20 is what 65 correct so k equal to what k equal to we will get here k equal to we will get here uh, k k k k 10 into 65 divided by t this this is the value of k okay so this is the value of o o o is here this is 170 yes 170 by 2 so 60 this will become what 85 okay 85 minus 20 so this is 65 correct and this is 90 minus 80 so it will come 10 yes correct so k equal to what k equal to we will get 10 by 65 this is my mistake here this is 65 will come correct this value will come here 10 by this after then this k value we will put again in the equation so next is what 90 minus 80 degree celsius and this is what 20 degree celsius okay so here what is happening after the similar cup coffee of cool from 80 degree celsius to 60 degree celsius from the room temperature same 20 degree celsius so again use this equation so here 80 minus 60 okay divided by t dash so t dash value we want to find out over here k value already we have uh, 10 divided by t into 65 correct and and the difference is uh, here if i will add this 80 into 60 is 140 140 divided by 2 minus 20 okay so after the solve this equation we will get a t dash value so t dash value what will come here it will come 30 okay this question is lengthy but easy okay just use the newton's law of cooling so what we will get t dash equal to we will get here 13 by 5t after the solving of this equation we will get this answer here option number three let's see the next question an electromagnetic wave of wavelength lambda is incident on a photosensitive surface of negligible work function if m mass is the photo electron emitted from the surface has a d Broglie wavelength lambda d okay so we know that okay we know that lambda equal to uh, d Broglie wavelength can be written as what d Broglie wavelength can be written as lambda equal to h by p correct and incident photon wavelength is what lambda so incident photon energy is what e equal to hc by lambda okay and it is equal to what kinetic energy because here here work function is given negligible correct because work function we know that now work function is what work function plus kinetic energy equal to what incident energy sc by lambda 
here curve function is zero, so kinetic energy is equal to SE by lambda. So here SE by lambda is equal to kinetic energy, and kinetic energy can be written as p square by 2m. Okay, just and from here lambda d equal to what h by p. So p can be written as h by lambda d. Just put this value over here. Okay, we will put this value over here. Then what we will get? We will get here kinetic energy. What we written here? Uh, energy yes, h c by lambda. So h c by lambda equal to p is what? P equal to h by lambda d. So p equal to h by lambda d. So just write down here h by lambda d. H by lambda d square. Correct. Divided by 2m. This thing will come. And what he is asking? Lambda he is asking. So just solve this equation. Then lambda equal to what we will get? Lambda equal to we will get here. Okay. Lambda equal to we will get over here is means this option number four will come after the solving of this. We will get this thing. 2mc h by lambda d square. Can solve this thing. Okay. H square lambda d so h square so h one h will get cancel out here okay because this is h and this is h square okay so we will get this this answer we will get over here option number four okay let's see the next question water falls from the height of 60 meter at the rate of 15 kg per second to operate the turbine the losses due to the frictional force are 100 percent of the input energy how much power is generated by the turbine is okay. So he is asking how much power is generated and 10% power is lost here. So very simple question. Okay, power generated can be written as mg. This is mg h. Okay, this is this is what work. Work per unit time is what power. Okay, and here what is given? Here the mass flow rate is given. So m dot g h into loss is 10%. So here we can multiply with the 0.9. Because 10% is lost, so remaining is what 0.9%. So this much is generated 0.9. M is what here 15, G is what 10, H is what 16, 0.9. Correct. So P value we will get 8.1 kilo. This is the answer for this question. Okay. So the option number three is correct for this question. Let's see the next question. Let's come on the section P. In the section B, the question is given what? 27 drops of same size are charged at 20 volt each they combine to form a bigger drop calculate the potential of the bigger drop okay so here what is happening here 27 drops okay a small small 27 drops is combining and becoming one big drop so let's suppose on each drop the charge is what q so the charge on the big drop will be what 27 q correct potential on the small drop is what each drop is what is given 220 volt so we can write down k q by r equal to what 2 2 0 correct we can write down like that and for this we can write down k 27 q by okay radius of this is what capital r okay capital r and potential is v dot v dash we want to find out over here so here the uh, volume is conserved okay volume is conserved so we can write on volume of this small small is what 4 by 3 pi r q is volume of the one drop total drop is what 27 equal to what this drop and the volume of this is what the volume of this is 4 by 3 pi r q volume of the big drop Okay, this and this will get cancelled out here. So here R equal to we will get 3R. R equal to we will get a 3R. So if I will put this thing here, so K, this is 27Q and R equal to what 3R equal to V dash. So you can see here this is 9 will come. So we can write down 9 KQ by R equal to V dash. And KQ by R value is what? 220. So 9 into 220 is what? Equal to V dash. So it will come option number one. Okay, this is the answer for this question. Let's see the next question. 
a point object is placed at a distance of 60 cm from the convex lens of focal length 30 cm if a plan mirror were put perpendicular to the principal axis of the lens and the distance of 40 cm from it the final image would be formed at a distance of okay so here what is happening here this is the lens okay and a point object is present 60 meter distance from this lens correct so means object is present at a two of distance and focal length is what 30 centimeters so uh, object is present or, the, or at a two of distance so image will formed also at a two of distance so it will formed over here okay it will formed over here like that the diagram we will get correct so here we will get a one i one so this is the plane mirror so this distance okay and this distance will be same so this is what 60 so this will be 60 this is 40 so this will be what 20 centimeter so this will be also 20 centimeter here i2 we will get this distance will be 20 centimeter right now this i2 right now this i2 will work as a object for this okay for this convex lens so here what we can write down u equal to what U equal to total 40 centimeter the distance is what 20 centimeter so u equal to what minus 20 centimeter and f equal to what focal length is 30 centimeter v we want to find out okay so we can find out easily the formula is what 1 by f 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u so this is the formula from here we will get a v value so 1 by f is what 30 v we, we want to find u is already minus and one either already present so 1 by 20 will come so 1 by v will be what 1 by 30 minus 1 by 20 so v value we will get here v value we will get here minus 60 v value we will get a minus 60 centimeter so third image will formed over here okay means i3 and i one will be overlapped this thing will be happening okay and distance from the distance between this plan mirror and this i3 is what 20 centimeter because this is 60 centimeter now this distance is 40 centimeter so this will be what 20 centimeter so answer will be what 20 centimeter okay so and if you will check the options here then options is what first option is 20 centimeter from the plan mirror it would be the virtual so correct 20 centimeter from the plan mirror already we got it correct and this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong option one is correct for this question let's see the next question a particle of mass m is projected with a velocity v equal to k v e from the surface of the earth v equal to s k velocity the maximum height above the surface reached by the particle is okay so in this question what is happening okay we are throwing one particle from the surface of the earth like this like this we are throwing one particle okay so here maximum height he is asking okay and velocity is what v equal to k v e correct so the potential energy here will be what g m e m by r e minus okay and here will be what potential energy g means let's suppose this height is what h okay maximum height is asking now. so let's suppose this is a maximum height is s here here the potential energy is what g m e m y r e so we can balance the energy now so we can add down the equation like that minus g m e m by r e plus let's suppose we are throwing with a v velocity means velocity is already given v velocity so half m and v v is what k v square and k square equal to what when it will reach at the maximum height potential energy what g m e m by r e plus h and kinetic energy will get zero here and we know that this v e can be written as under root 2 g m e by r radius of the earth correct this thing we can write down here so if i will put this values value over here 
and if I will solve this all the equation, okay, so we will get options number one. You can solve this thing. Just put this value over here and get your answer. Okay, we will get options number one. Let's see the next question. In the product f equal to q v cross b, f equal to here q v v i plus b j plus b not k is given. 4q equal to 1 and v equal to 2i plus 4j plus 6k cap and f equal to 4i cap minus 20j cap plus 12k cap is given. What will be the complex expression b? Okay, so very simple question. See, we know that f equal to what? F equal to q v cross b. Correct. F equal to what? F equal to q v cross b. So here f is given. F is given. Okay. And v is given here. Okay. B is he is asking. So we know that. And q is what one. Okay. So if means f equal to what? F is equal to v cross b because q is one here. Okay. So what we have to do here? Here we have to use the trial and error method. Okay. First I will put b equal to what? 6i plus 6j minus 8k. Okay. And if it is equal to the f, then our answer is correct. Okay. So one by one I will put all the options here. I will do the cross product. Okay. So we know that how we can do the cross product. V cross b equal to what? I, j, k. And v is what here? V is two, four, six. And uh, suppose first we are putting this six, six, six. If suppose it will come four i minus twenty j plus four k. Okay, so it will be our answer. But the correct answer is what? Option number three. Why? The option number three is correct. Let's see here. Because of that, see, I uh, I will not check. All the options. Okay, the option number three is correct. We will check here. See, if I will put here, if I will take, okay, b equal to minus six minus six j minus at k cap. Okay, b value. If I will take this thing, then it should be come equals to four i minus twenty j plus twelve k cap. Then our b value is correct. Okay, so let's see here. It is coming or not. So, see, this is i, j, and k, and here. B value what we are getting minus six, minus six and minus eight. Correct. And B this is V value. Mm, one minute. First V will come, and after then B will come. So here first we will put the V value. V is what here? V is two, four, six. And uh, here V is minus six, minus six and minus eight. Correct. After the solving of this matrix, we will get a F. Okay. And if I will do the cross product, so I will solve this matrix. Then what I will get here? Four i cap minus twenty j cap plus twelve k cap. After the solving of this matrix, I will get this value. And this is equal to the F. Okay. The meaning is that this option is correct. So here we have to check the options. Okay. We have to do the cross product. Then we will get the answer. Okay. Two conducting circular loops of radii R1 and R2 are placed in the same plane with their centers coinciding. If R1 is greater than to R2, the mutual inductance M between them will be directly proportional to. Okay, very simple question. Okay, mutual inductance. He is asking two coils are giving, two circular loops are giving. This is the first loops, and this is the second loops. So this is R1. Okay, R1 is greater than to R2, so this is the R1, and this is what R2. Correct. We know that. Uh, let's suppose this is a primary coil and this is secondary coil. The flux of the secondary coil is equal to what? Current in the primary coil into mutual inductance. Correct. So flux in the secondary coil will be what? It is depending on the current in the primary coil. So Flux can be written as magnetic field into area, okay, of this secondary coil. So magnetic field generated by the primary coil is what mu naught i by two pi r one into area of this is what pi r two square equal to i, okay, m. 
so i i will get cancel out here and pi pi will get cancel out here so mutual inductance he is asking directly proportional so the mutual index is directly proportional to r2 square by r1 means options number first is correct for this question let's see the next question for the given circuit the input digital signals are applied at the terminal a b and c what would be the output at the terminal y so this is a input this is b input this is c input so first of all we have to make the table of the inputs and here the circuit is given okay so this is what this is the and gate this is the and gate this is what nand gate and this is what or gate correct so let's suppose here a b input so here we will get a dot b here p and c input so here we will get b dot c bar so here finally we will get y equal to we will get here y equal to we will get a dot b plus b dot c this thing we will get okay and if i will make a input table so a b and c correct a b c and y so output table will be what okay we will take two result okay two or three result see so a is what zero b is what zero and c is what one correct zero zero one input is what zero zero one so zero 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 one okay if i will put inside this equation so y equal to v what we will get a dot b so a is 0 b is 0 so 0 dot 0 is 0 so 0 dot 0 is 0 plus b dot c here b is what 0 a is what 1 so 0 dot 1 is what 0 and reciprocal of this is what because bar is present na so uh, again we will get 0 dot 0 is 0 and reciprocal is 1 so we will get a 1 okay after then we will see the second input second input is what second input is 1 0 1 okay 1 0 1 correct 1 0 1 so let's see what we will get 1 0 1 okay second input is 1 0 1 so see if i will put a equal to 1 okay dot 0 plus b equal to 0 and c equal to dot 1 okay so 1 dot 0 is what 0 plus and 0 dot 1 is what 0 is equal is 1 so output we will get a 1 so here what will be happen when we will put this type this all the inputs then we will get a 1 1 1 1 1 okay whatever we will put here we will get a 1 1 1 1 1 1 okay and if you will check the options here then here we are getting 1 1 1 means higher voltage we are getting in options 3 okay so the option number 3 is correct for this question let's see the next question for the circular ring of mass m radius r an arc corresponding to 90 degree sector is removed the moment of inertia of the remaining part of the ring about the axis passing through the center of the ring and perpendicular to the plane of the ring is k the time m r square then the value of k is okay so here this is one ring in this question one ring is given so we know that the inertia of the full ring is what m r square correct but here what we are doing one fourth part we are removing here okay Ninety degree sector we are removing means one fourth part we are removing. So m r square by four part we are removing. So remaining part will be what three by four m. The mass of the remaining part is what three by four m r square. So inertia of that part will be what three by four m r three by three by four. Sorry here the four will come three by four m r square. So inertia of the remaining part will be what three by four m r square. So here what is given inertia is what he is asking k value okay the perpendicular to the plane of the ring is k times mr square so you can see here this is coming 3 by 4 times mr square k value is what 3 by 4 k value is what 3 by 4 and if we will check the options here we are getting option number 2 correct simple question let's see the next question here Three resistors having resistance R1, R2, and R3 are connected as shown in given circuit. The ratio of I3 by I1 of the circuit in term of resistance used in the circuit is okay. So in this question, what is happening? The current is going. 
okay like that and it is dividing into two part okay so we can use the current dividing rule so i3 will be what i3 will be r2 r1 plus r2 okay into i1 and he is asking i3 by i1 ratio so it will come r2 by r1 plus r2 correct very simple question r3 by r i3 by i1 ratio is what r2 by r1 plus r2 means options number 3 is correct for this question correct very simple question just use the current dividing rule already we discuss in the class okay let's see the next question a car start from rest and oscillate at 5 meter per second square at t equal to 4 second a ball is dropped out of windows by a person sitting in the car what is the velocity and acceleration of the ball at t equal to 6 second okay very simple question see directly we can uh, find out the question or uh, find out the answer here see you can see the acceleration only in the option number 1 10 meter per second is given and the other options it is 500 0, 0. okay and he is asking what is the velocity and acceleration of the ball at the t equal to 6 second so acceleration will not change correct or not let's see here car is moving with the acceleration of 5 meter per second and we are dropping the ball at a 4 second after 4 seconds so velocity of the ball in the horizontal direction will be what 5 into 4 means 20 meter per second correct dropped out the windows by the person sitting in the car what is the velocity and acceleration of the car after the 6 second so after 4 second we are releasing and 6 second he is asking so after 2 second what will happen it will get a okay it will get some vertical velocity also vertical velocity is what half half what is the vertical velocity v equal to v naught plus a t okay so downward direction acceleration is what 10 time is what 2 20 meter per second so vertical velocity also so resultant velocity of the ball after 6 second will be what under root 20 square plus 20 square correct 20 square plus 20 square is what so the resultant velocity will come 20 root 2 correct meter per second and acceleration will be what 10 meter per second so the option number one is correct for this question very simple question let's see the next question a step down transformer connected to the ac supply of 220 volt is made to the operate at 11 volt 44 watt lamp in ignoring power losses in the transformer what is the current in the primary circuit okay so in this question what is happening voltage is given 220 volt okay and power is given power is uh, power is what step down transformer connected to the ac main supply to 220 volt is made to operate 11 volt 44 watt lamp ignoring power losses so power is so initial power means primary coil power equal to the okay loss is zero na primary coil power equals to the secondary power so what we can write down here equal to 44 watt because this is the power na so it will be 44 watt and here what he is asking primary circuit current primary circuit current he is asking so we know that we can write down voltage of the primary source and current of the primary equal to what 44 what is this what here 220 and ip we are finding here equal to 44 so ip equal to what 44 44 divided by 220 so it will come after the solving we will get option number 2 ip equal to what 0 0.2 okay it will come 0 0.2 ip equal to what 0 0.2 ampere okay like that we can solve Question number 46, a ball is mass 0.15 kg is dropped from the height 10 meter, strike the ground and rebound to the same height. The magnitude of the impulse imparted to the ball is, okay. So here magnitude of impulse he is asking. So this one ball we are dropping with from the h height, correct. So let's suppose here the velocity is v, it will rebound with the same velocity. The impulse will be what? Impulse can be written as i equal to 2 mv correct 
2 mv v equal to what under root 2 gs this is our answer just put the value and get your answer m equal to what 0.15 into 2 g value is what here g value is 10 h is 10 just solve this and find out the impulse value and after the solving we will get 4.2 so the 4.2 is the answer for this question correct impulse is what change in momentum Okay, let us see the question number 47. A series LCR circuit containing 5 handy inductor, 80 microfarad capacitor and 40 ohm resistor is connected to 230 volt variable frequency AC source. The angular frequency of the source at which power transferred to the circuit is half the power at the resonant angular frequency are likely to be. Okay, so he is asking the angular frequency of the source at which power transferred to the circuit is half the power at the resonant angular frequency. Okay, so he is asking what is the half power frequency? Half power frequency he is asking, correct? So, first of all, we will find out here resonance frequency and resonance frequency is what? Omega naught equal to 1 by under root L by C, correct? And L is what? L is 5, C is what? 80, microfarad means 10 raise to minus 6 will come ok after the solving of this we will get a omega naught and it will come 50 radian per second so this is this thing we right now we have ok resonance frequency but he is asking half power frequency ok so half power frequency can be written as lower frequency can be written as 50, ok first I will write down the formula omega naught plus minus R by 2L. Correct. This is the formula. Half, this is the frequency formula, half power frequency formula. So, lower frequency will be what? Omega naught minus R by 2L. Okay. And higher frequency is what? Higher frequency will be omega naught plus R by 2L. Correct. This thing we will get here. So, omega naught is 50 R by 2L and plus r by 2l we will get we will get a higher frequency and if we will get do do minus r by 2l then we will get a lower frequency okay so omega naught is 50 omega naught is what 50 minus r r is what here r is 40 divided by 2l this is 40 by 2 into l is what here 5 so just solve this thing then what we will get 4 50 minus 4 is what? 46. And after then, if I will do the plus, then what will become? 50 plus 4 is what? 54 radian means option number 4 will come. Okay, we have to use this formula and we will get a answer here. Let us see the next question. A uniform rod of length 200 centimeter and mass 500 gram is balanced on the base placed. Okay, placed at 40 centimeter mark. A mass of 2 kg is suspended from the rod at 20 centimeter and another unknown mass m is suspended from the rod at 160 centimeter mark as shown in the figure. Find the value of m such that rod is in equilibrium condition. So, very simple question. Okay. Take a moment from here. If it is balanced, na, so moment from that point will be what? 0. Net moment will be what? 0. Okay, and central mass will be what? The length of this is what? 200 centimeter. Central mass will be on 100 centimeter, means it will come here. So, here the mass will be what? 0 0.5 kg. And distance from here to here is what? Total is what? 200. From here to here is 100. This length is what? The distance from here to here is 40. So, 40. So, it will be what? 60. This distance will be what? 60 centimeter. Correct. Take a moment. 2 into. Okay. 2 into and this distance 0, 20, 40. So, this, this distance will be what? 20. Correct. After then, equal to. Okay. We are taking the moment now. So, 2 into 20 and this is the right side and sorry left side and right side moment is what 0 0.5 and this is what 
this is 60 correct 40 and yes this is 60 and uh, plus m and this distance will be what from here this is 60 and from here to is 60 uh, from here to here is what 40 and total is 60 so distance from that hinge to that mass uh, between this hinge to that mass is what 160 minus 40 means what will come 120 will come 120 only this thing so just solve this thing 40 equal to 30 and this is m 120 correct so m equal to we will get 10 by 120 means m equal to we will get 1 by 12 correct m equal to we will get 1 by 12 and if we will check the options here then we are getting options number 1 so the options number 1 is correct just take the moment okay net torque and you can say the not net torque also if it is in equilibrium net torque is 0 take a left side torque equal to right side torque just equate find out the m value okay let's see the next question a particle moving on a circle of radius r with a uniform speed takes a time t to complete one revolution if this particle were projected with a time speed at an angle theta to the horizontal the maximum height attained by it equal 4 r the angle of projection theta is given okay so very simple question one particle is moving on the circular circle radius is r time period is t correct radius is r time period is what t here so what we can write down here r equal to what we can write down see uh, it is moving in the circle so time period is what time period can be written as okay 2 pi r by velocity so velocity is what here 2 pi r by t so this is the velocity of that particle correct and right now what is happening we are throwing that particle at a theta angle like this okay and maximum height is what maximum height is given 4 r correct maximum height is 4 r we are throwing at a theta angle with a v velocity so angle theta is asking so maximum height formula is what h max equal to okay u square sin square theta by 2 z correct and u is what here 2 pi r by t and here square will come here sin square theta by 2 g h max is what h max is given 2 r sorry 4 r ok just solve this equation and get your answer ok from here just find out the theta value so after the solving of the theta value we will get this theta equal to sin inverse 2 g t square by pi e square r 1 by 2 just find out the velocity and after then use the maximum height formula get your answer that's it next question a uniform conducting wire of length 12 a and resistance r is wound up as a current carrying coil in the shape of okay here first we are winding in the equilateral triangle of side a after then we are winding on a square side a the magnetic dipole moment of the coil in each case respectively r what is happening a uniform conductive wire of length is what coil a resistance is what r wound on the current carrying coil of shape equilateral triangle and a square so first we are we are winding on the equilateral triangle like this this is what this is the equilateral triangle and what is asking magnetic dipole moment we know that magnetic dipole moment is what n i a magnetic dipole moment is what ni number of loop i is current a is the area so if i will the total length is what 12 a if i will and uh, equilateral triangle length is what a so if i will wind around of this so total number of loop will come okay how many it will come total length of this uh, one equilateral triangle is what 3 a so 12 by 3a to 12a by 3a is what 4 the so number of loop will come for the equilateral triangle will be what 4 n value is what 4 i is i area we have to find out a a a okay number of loop we will get a 4 na the total length of this triangle is what from here to here means we can say the parameter na the total length is what total length is okay 3a 
So 12a by 3a is 4a will come. This n n value is what? 4 will come. Correct. So number of loop we will get a 4. After then a value we have to find out. So a how we will find out? Okay, this is the equilateral triangle. Okay. So this is the equilateral triangle. This is a. This is a by 2. Very simply we can find out a by 2. This is a by 2, and this is a a a by 2 a by. So this is root 3 by 2. Okay, this is root 3 by 4. This is root 3 by 1 minute. I, we can solve with the help of Pythagoras. Okay, so a square equal to we can write on a square equal to what? a square by 2 plus. Okay, and we are finding this now. So this is x square. So this is what? a by 2 means a by 4 will come here. So this is 4 minus a square by means 3 a square by 4. So root 3 by 2 will come. Okay, the value of this will be what? Root 3 by 2 a will perpendicular value. Okay, so area we can use here right angle triangle formula 1 by 2 into a by 2. Okay, base into height is what? Root 3 by 2. Same thing on, on that side also. So we have to multiply with the 2. So this is the area of the triangle. So area value we will get. N value is what? 4. So just put inside this formula 4 into i into i into area is what this ok just solve this thing and get the area value also ok this 2 and 2 will get cancel out so this will come root 3 root 3 a square by 4 this is the area so this is the magnetic moment of the equilateral triangle after the square Okay, area of the square is what? A square. Okay, and number of loop will be what? 3. For the square, number of loop will be what it will come? Total length of this 4a and this is 12a. Okay, the square parameter is what? This is 4a. A plus A plus A, 4a. 4a by 12a is what? 3a. So, number of loop for the square is what? N equal to 3. Okay, so here we will get Magnetic moment for the square is what? 3 into i into a is what? a square. Correct this. And what is the magnetic dipole moment of coil in each case respectively r? So this thing we are getting. And if you will check the options here, then f i a square by 3 i a square. Correct this options we are getting. Just check our, okay, what we got it here. 4, 4 will get cancel out so root 3 a square i root 3 i root 3 i a square correct root 3 i a square and 3 i a square and 3 i a square so we are getting options number b okay options number a is not correct options number b is correct for this question some mistake is happening here the so options b is correct for this question okay so this is a answer. So right now our paper is finished. Thank you.